Hello Pisces, I'm Susie from the Good Tour 2 and I'm here to read your tarot for the week of the 1st of August. So, angels, spirit, guides, universe. What would you like Pisces to know for the week of the 1st of August? Angels, spirit, guides, universe. Week of the 1st of August for Pisces. Pisces, 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 Pisces. Angels, spirit, guides, week of the 1st of August. Please give me nine cards for Pisces for the week of the 1st of August. How did they feel about that? One, two, three, four, five. Angel spirit, guys, what would you like Pisces to know about the week? Okay. One, two, four. Oh, Pisces, going on. Right, so... Queen of Pentacles, you're holding fort, you're you're grounded, there's this um, Taurus element, it's sensual, it's sexy, it's money, and it's senses, okay? It's like you're, you're feeling, you could build from here, it's security, right? There's a brand new uprush of energy, there's an offer of a business, of a new quest, okay? Now, suddenly, something hits the home with this tower. Suddenly, out of the blue, you may feel confused because something happens. Could be um, a flood or something that you weren't expecting. And it causes you to be confused and jealous. Someone might run out unexpectedly or come in unexpectedly. Um, and it makes something's made you jealous in this new in this new beginning. Something's hit the tower, hit the the crown, if you like, and now it's confused you. And it now and it's but so this new beginning is actually beginning to be a burden. Okay, it could be between two women. You've got the Queen of Wands as the outcome, which she's a leader of her own business. She's Leo or Aries or Sagittarius. So there's this fire, there's this passion. Um, you may have taken on other people's dramas that have burdened you, and you need to be more heartfelt, Leo like, and leaderish. Okay, is that a word? <laughs> Pisces, you need to be less water and more fire, okay? Um, you are no longer sacrificing yourself for people. Your hoped for wish is coming true in love. This Sagittarius, this fire, this passion is coming towards you and he's coming for sexy time. He could have a vice though. Someone could have some kind of an addiction an addiction to you or you've got an addiction drink drugs rock and roll sex um someone could be manipulating you in because of your passion but this seems like a hopeful wish coming true it seems like i know the devil's the devil for me and someone's coming in to just i don't want to say <laughs> but you could be a lucky person this week pisces in, in a roundabout way, I would say try not to drink too much um, or get involved. People could fly in and fly out. It's just uh, your wish is coming true. A lot of crap's coming out of this box. It's Aquarius. It's in love, your wish is coming true. Be vulnerable, but don't try not to um, take this Knight of Wands too seriously because... They have a vice and they like fun and they're charming. But this is a catalyst for you to be more fun, more fire, more charming, um, maybe a bit more sexy. Um, it's There's something of fire, there's some passion being offered this week to you. And while you're holding your ground and your your central, you are, it's almost like people want to offer this fire, they see it in you. Um, I don't know, it would be interesting what the astrology would be, is they're water and fire planet together or something. But um, it causes you confusion and burden. But you do, it's like then you take control of the situation and you're not sacrificing for anyone now. It's like, no, 
I'm getting my hopeful wish in love. All this stuff's coming out of the closet and the last thing to come out is hope. And I'm vulnerable and I'm honest. And this Knight of Wands sees that. <laughs> and he's coming in to manipulate your sex and, and rock and roll. Right, but you might just need it. It's just like, maybe this, this, this new beginning didn't come to fruition because something shocking happened and you could, it couldn't happen. So this person had to run out the door in the night and that left you a little bit burdened and you're like, oh, not again, okay? But it made you very Leo-like, very um, passionate about the future. And you, you, you're deciding you're not going to sacrifice anymore, but you're going to see things from a massively different perspective with this hangman upside down. And that gifts you the star. People love you as the star. They want to look at you. They want to come towards you. They want to dance and, and play and have fun and party. It's just, you know, be a little bit careful, Pisces. Um, let's have a look at these romance angel cards for Pisces. Angel spirit guides. Okay, let's have a look. We've got, you deserve love, you are lovable. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. And calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. Angels, spirit guides. Okay, I wanted one, but three have come out, so I don't know what they are yet. So we've got... Let go of control issues. Maybe you're that devil on puppet in, on a string, like holding this situation with, the, like holding the fort. So it's saying, let go of control issues. This could be the one. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You've already met the romantic partner you seek and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Hmm, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling you need to be a bit more Leo on stage, expressive. Um, it could be dealing with an Aquarius that sees you as the star and they're coming towards you with passionate passion. <laughs> Don't forget the, um, sorry, my battery's going. Don't forget the Ace of Wands as well as this new beginning. But it could be that the new beginning doesn't happen and then something else happens because you change your perspective on it. You see it differently and think, well, maybe I should just be a bit more passionate and fun and sod it. Express yourself. Angels, spirit guides, Pisces, Pisces for the week of the 1st of August, please. So Pisces, Pisces, what would you like Pisces to know? Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Pisces to know for the week of the 1st of August for Pisces? Um, what do you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide, sorry, I've got my glasses. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know what you're ready and, and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. I think this Knight of Wands is rushing in. Listen, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance and everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. Listen. Nurture. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. And I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. <sighs> You're no longer going to be confused, Pisces. You're going to start expressing yourself in a much different way. It's not what you're used to. Uh, but do remember that you just might just need a bit of fun. Just take it with a pinch of salt and make these changes um, and, and know what you desire because you can have it. Right, Pisces, take care of yourself and please like, share and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.